In the worlds before monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. The four worlds formed again and yet again, as endless eons wheeled and passed. Time and the pure essences of heaven, the moisture of the earth, the powers of the sun and the moon, all worked upon a certain rock, old as creation. And it became magically fertile. That first egg was named Thought. Tathagata Buddha, the father Buddha, said, with our thoughts we make the world. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. Nice place, man, this uh, tobacco monastery. Very nice. To have a spook, yo, driving here, and uh, the back door of that truck opening up, isn't it? And that truck coming in. Oh, you just missed the car, did it? No, it's not, it? was it? It was alright, was it? It's a sign, isn't it? That jug. The jug represents the Holy Grail, right? And the vessel has been found. And then we've got the honey. The honey is the night, right? what we do. So that jar of honey represents, right, the holy grail. The back door of the matrix. That's what it is. Oh, no, and it's funny how I stop I miss the bridge now. And then the truck come behind me. We follow that. The door open on the back of the truck. Got a jug come out, bunk. we well, lucky, Scott. The vessel, the container has been found. With the virtues of heaven, it's called. See, this is the music. Got control of the monsters again, that's what it means. Rest assured, I'm not gonna get possessed every five seconds.
<laughs> no, these are four. These are the control of demons, is that? When they, when they were getting on top of them and right, things when the demons would come down, well, they would do, they would do these prayer wheels. And every time they go around, right, the prayers would be heard. Yeah, the symbols. Yeah, yeah, the symbols. I wanted to, and they controlled them. We kept it on the monsters, like, you know, just want to take it over the path, like. I wanted to do with these monks and just stay up in the mountain. They don't move the whole thing, they? What they would do, right? Just keep on praying. I just keep having, but now they want to make it them. But you're supposed to use your hands and go like that. And each prayer, there like, was a mutter. And a mutter, right, was an incantation to uh, how, they, how they could understand and control the evil beasties, like. But how many of them has got count? And we got 10 down by here, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, monster what's that one so that's 45 so if you look at it Dr. O and the Loch Ness Monster we've got 45 so it's times 2 to Yin and Yang and what page are we on that's going to put us on page 90 and you have how to create how to keep the monsters controlled here we go page 90 Doctor and Loch Ness Monster. The Duke of Four Girl looked on with polite interest as Sarah ploughed her way through the musty books. She closed the volume she was reading and pointed to the top shelf. Top shelf. What are those big books up there? See them? Monastic records. See them? Monastic. We're in a monastery. Page 90. Monastic records, Miss Smith. There was a monastery on this spot in the 11th century. So here we are. May I have a look? Certainly. Did you tote on an old fashioned bell rope? You know, look, that's what these used to be. You used to have ropes on, you used to put ropes on them. And one of the biggest men Sarah had ever seen came marching into the hall. He bowed and then glanced up questioningly. Ah, came Our young guest is about to delve into the mysteries of the past. Fetch her the steps, would you? I would do them. Very good, your grace. We were just in the hostile stare, Sarah, the big man mashed out again. Sarah had a nervous impulse to make conversation. Kaba, she said brightly. That's an unusual name, surely. It, it's really a kind of nickname, explained the Duke. He was a champion at tossing the Kaba. The Highland Games, you know. The big man returned with a heavy old-fashioned set of lively steps, apparently made from a solid oak. He dumped them down next to Sarah, bowed and stood waiting for instructions. The Duke turned to Sarah. If you excuse me, I have to work to do. The Duke and the giant Sarah left the hall. Left on the road, Sarah climbed on the steps, started examining the books on the top shelf. She found them hard going, especially as several appeared to be written in medieval Latin. She had just decided, well, that's the end of page 90, it's Sorry, don't. Don't know what that's most I don't know what piece to do next. What's the next one? 
Do you know these are the people? Oh, I can't see much on that, can we? Oh, he's got that's nice, isn't he? You're just supposed to be drunk like Scott without milk, I think, my one. Yeah. 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 This, this, this is cheap, Scott. I'm not going to jar money for this. That's good. Yeah. Is it that free to pick in that? Uh, would you like an internet ticket, yeah? Um, no, I was just wondering where we would. Oh, we sell Wi Fi tickets. Um, it's uh, 25p for 10 minutes, so uh, half an hour 75p, uh, one hour 150, 10 minutes, 25 p minutes. Can I pay for that, please, for one of those jars of honey? Yeah, really good honey. Yeah, yeah. that's cheap enough for the value, that's pretty good that is. Yeah, it's just on the road. Yeah, and they do it all year, and they smash them on you know. Really nice. Yeah. Good honey. We can have that, we can have two, it's another base, of course. And the bees, the bees need beekeepers then. Because they're dying out, aren't they? Yeah, they are dying out, yeah. There's not much, is it? They're as mysterious as well while they're going. Yeah, it's probably because of the, um, all the pesticides that they use on the farms and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, so what's happened? There's no beekeepers left here? Are, they, are you looking for new beekeepers, are they? Well, I think in uh, some countries, like the uh, Netherlands, I think, um, yeah. there's, uh, there's, uh, it is uh, rising up again. Yeah. Uh, there's like a trend in the cities as well. Mm -hmm. Because actually in the city, uh, there's, I think, more uh, the diversity in terms of flora because of people that are keeping house plants and the balconies and yeah. like rooftop gardens and stuff. Big dreams, do they? Yeah, they have more. They actually have more diversity than the the, the, the countryside nowadays. Yeah. So I know people do it myself. Yeah, there's people down in Wales where we're from, and uh, we've got people keep us down in just at the garden. Yeah. And he sells it around, but it's a quality. Then you're looking for like uh, while you put into it, and you know he collects it. But yeah. this this thing tastes in it. Yeah, it is really nice. Honestly. Yeah, it's really good. Pretty so, good stuff. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I think those are all. Yeah, it's simple to what they do. They pollinate the yeah, world yeah. as well. Food, all uh, of it, yeah. It's a food chain. There's a knock-on effect. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. America are dying the most over in America. You, yeah, that's where they're really. They just, just all of a sudden, they go back the next morning and they're all dead. Yeah. yeah. And it could be the wavelength of the earth. You know, like the earth gives up a human resonance. Yeah. And the electromagnetic waves in the yeah. earth interfere with the, with the resonance of the planet and yeah. the bees are tuned into that so much, right? right okay. But the, the electromagnetic waves just, it, 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 it takes it out of them. Yeah. They haven't got no instinct like, to guide them with a, with a magnetic thing and what happens. Yeah. The waves are so much, it actually destroys them. Yeah, They're that yeah. powerful. It's doing it to us, but we're humans and our minds can cook more with the bees. Yeah. They have a problem and you get one of these big waves that goes round. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's what's working on them. Oh, it's man made. Oh, right, that's a nice uh, time, right? Did you know about that? So what we all got to do, you know, is create these pylons around the world, yeah. emitting this frequency, 7 point, is it uh, 5 2? Yeah. Or 3 2, and then we emit the, the wavelength. Alright. So, so the bees pick up on it again and carry on with nature. Alright. Yeah. Right. But it's too much of too much of the one wrong vibration. Alright, alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.